This is All Day Tech here with a tutorial on how to make a calculator using Qt and C++. So this is what we'll end up with after this video. Um, this is the design of the GUI. As you can see, it looks similar to the Mac OS X calculator. Um, so this is what we'll be designing in this video. The buttons don't work yet, but we will implement these in uh, the later parts of this tutorial. So let's get started. So first you want to open up Qt and create a new project either here or with file, new file or project. We're going to want to create an application in a Qt widgets application. Now you can select, uh, choose a name for your project. So I'm going to choose calculator and you can choose a folder I'm just going to leave it in that folder now you can select what uh, platform you want it to build on um, you may have options for Android as well for this tutorial I'm just going to leave it on the desktop but you can always add other platforms later if you decide you want it to work on multiple platforms um, so now this is the basic class information that we'll start you out with. We'll just leave it at main window. Um, and you want to make sure you generate a form. Um, and it will just be the same as the class name, main window.ui. Um, now here you can add uh, more advanced options like version control and or add it as a sub-project. Uh, we won't go into these details in this video, but... Um, version control is definitely used quite a bit uh, for projects of all sizes um, so if you're familiar with that you can go ahead and check out that option we'll click finish and let me close this existing window alright so this is the uh, project it will give you. You can see we have uh, our calculator.pro file which just contains basic configuration information for the project. Um, we have the main window.h file which will just uh, is our header file for the main window class. Doesn't have too much in there right now. We have our main uh, main.cpp which has our main function uh, which uh, creates our our application and shows it and then we have our main window.cpp this is our implementation file and finally we have our main window.ui file this is the uh, visual this is the interface uh, file for our GUI um, this is what you'll see when you run it um, so let's let's give it a try let's run it and it's building right now you can see in the bottom the build status and here it is so this is what we this is the default window for our project so we'll be customizing this so as you can see there's these uh, status bars and toolbars on it um, let's start by removing those so just click up here remove move. Uh, it's just a right click on the uh, the object and just click remove. Alright, so now now those bars will be gone. We can build it again just to see that. Alright. So now let's now let's start to add some of the uh, the labels and the buttons to our calculator. Alright, so first we're going to add a label. So you can scroll down on the left side and find label, or you can search up here, type label. Uh, we want the display widgets label. Um, and let's drag this to the top, right there, and we're going to resize this. Um, let's see, we can come down here and change the width. We're going to make the width. Uh, 241 and the height will make 361 
Sorry about that. We'll make the height 61. All right, there we go. You can see the label is up at the top. This is what will show um, the different digits and um, that are typed in. All right, so now let's add a button. So we can come back up into the search and type button, and we want a push button. So we'll drag that on there, and we'll resize this button. Um, you can click and drag to resize, but once you know uh, what size you want, um, like I do, I'll just type it in here. And we actually want 61 height and 61 width, so there we go. And now we want to put this button right under the label, so you can click on the label and see where it goes. So there we go, the button's right under the label. So now we're going to... Um, copy this button and paste it three more times alright so we've got four buttons across so let's copy those and we'll paste these below them to get all of our buttons and if they get cut off at the bottom, you can just click over in this empty space and drag the window to make it a little bigger. Alright, there we go. And now let's... Let me go back here. Rerun this calculator just for reference. Alright. So we can change the button labels now. So um, we'll just make the same labels as this calculator uh, that's showing. Uh, for division on a Mac, you can press Option and then the uh, question mark key, or you can just do a division that way, whichever way is easier, or you can. Um, go into symbols you can get the division symbol um, there's multiple ways to get that symbol and it looks like we needed one more one more row as well um, and at this this will be our zero button, so you can delete that one, and you can uh, drag this over here. The width should be 121. Put zero in there. All right, and now we have all the buttons labeled, and now we can uh, make this uh, label at the top. Just have it default to zero. There we go. All right, now we can resize this window since it, it's a little too big for our calculator. We can we can click and drag, or um, to make it fit uh, perfectly, I'll just change the dimensions over here, and we'll make it 241 width. And 361 height. Alright, so let me make this project active again. Alright. Now, when I build it, this is our calculator so far. Alright, looks, looks alright, but it doesn't quite look as good as this one, so let's, let's change, let's fix that. Alright, so we'll add some uh, styling to the buttons to make it look nicer. So, first we'll start with the label. So, I have this uh, CSS um, already made. I'll have this down in the notes for the video as well, so you can use the same style. Or you can just type it in. Um, we're going to search down here for style sheet. There we go. We'll click on these three dots. 
and we'll just paste in the style right here. So it's kind of hard to see right here, so we'll show it um, back in the this screen. So what this is saying is for the Q label that we're using, we're going to set the alignment. Uh, it will be vertically centered and aligned to the right. Um, we'll add a border to it, one uh, one pixel solid gray border, and the background color will be set to white. All right, so we'll press OK. You can see the label moved over to the right, and we'll run it again. All right, that's looking good. You can see the border right there. Now we'll fix the buttons. Alright, so we'll grab the code for the digits. And if you hold Command, um, you can select all of the buttons at once, all the digits. And then you can paste the style in there. So what this is doing is it's uh, setting a border of one pixel solid gray and when the button is pressed um, it adds a linear gradient to it um, just to to give that visual feedback that the button has been pressed um, and we'll start let me comment this part out let me comment the border out real quick and so we'll say OK and run And as you can see, we've got, oh, sorry, yeah, so um, when you click on it, it looks a little different now, um, but as you can see, the buttons still aren't really aligned close to each other, so to fix that, um, we'll go back into the style sheet for the buttons, and turns out adding a border, you can add it zero pixels if you don't want the border, but uh, one pixel looks pretty nice, so we'll keep it at that. Um, and adding that border will just kind of uh, make the buttons their full um, their full size, and they'll look nicer when you click on it. You can see it darkens at the top a bit um, to give that feedback. So there's our digits, and now we'll add some styling to the rest of these buttons. Alright, so I'll grab that code for um, these um, these four buttons. We'll style the same. We'll paste that in there. Um, so the background color is just set to that RGB value, which is just a dark, uh, a grayish color. Um, we have a gradient um, that looks good with that gray color as well. Um, if you ever, uh, if you don't know how to find these RGB, RGB values, uh, just search on Google, say RGB color pick picker, and you'll be able to find, um, select a color, and it'll give you the RGB values for that color. All right, so we got those set, and then we'll come back here, and we'll grab this last snippet of code for the operations button. And we'll paste in their style sheet. And the only, uh, so we're setting it to a different uh, background color. Uh, same border. And uh, the color of the text will be white. Um, you'll see why in a second because we're making the, uh, the background uh, orange. So white, uh, white on orange looks a little clearer. Alright, and there's our calculator. Um, one last thing I'll do is just um, click on this label up here and do font. And we'll increase the font to, uh, we'll make it, let's make it 19. Alright, and there's our calculator GUI user interface. Thanks for watching guys and 
I'll see you in part two.